You guys, I found this stone and it's gonna be a... I've made this little tiny stone as a test of what it could look like. But now I want to turn the big stone into like a home marker Viking Norse stone. So let's break out the DIY kit and get crafting. First I covered the stone with a paper tape kind of stuff. You could use washi tape, I used an artist tape. Then I drew my design on it and the next step was to take a craft knife Exacto knife or scalpel, whatever you want to call it, and cut out the, along the lines that I just drew. So cut out the design, basically. Um, peeling in all the stone was incredibly satisfying. Maybe a little more satisfying than it should have been. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy cutting out your design on your stone, whatever stone you might have encountered or found in the garden. Next step is to slap some paint on this stone. I use acrylic paints and um, I started out with a white base paint because you can simply put any colour on top of that white base paint. I also got rid of the lettering which I didn't like there but I'll get back to that later. And then I started to outline it and draw it and I made some sketches trying out this design and decided on the colours and I wanted colours that um, anyone in the Viking age would have been able to get from nature. So this is kind of like a bluish which they, which they could have made from a blue clay which is um, which you can find a lot around here in these parts. I also guess that they could have made a woad blue, which would have been probably much brighter. So I went for the just, you know, blue clay type of colour. Then I took off uh, the rest of the tape, which left my stone slightly sticky, but that didn't bother me, it still doesn't bother me. And onward and upward we go with this crafting project. Next colour I dab on here is a blood red. And I say blood red, I didn't use real blood, and neither should you, because it'll, it'll dry up into a icky brown, blackish colour. This red, I can imagine, would have been made from uh, a rust colour, maybe. Or maybe some madder, or maybe some red clay. <laughs> this is where the lettering comes in. I decided to put on the lettering, the runes, with a gold Posca pen. Simply because doing it with a brush was too fiddly and doing it with a pen was a lot easier. And there it is, the finished result. I hope you like it. I hope you make your own Viking runestone and I hope you release your inner Viking and subscribe to the channel and like this video and I'll see you next time. Ta-da!